Hey, this is JC on a bike in the woods. Hey, JC on a bike in the woods here. We're at 1,192,000 people infected and about 64,000 people dead. Around the world, the only way that we're going to get through this is, is together. I think we have to come together as neighborhoods and as communities, as cities and as a country to try and pull each other through, especially those people who are suffering the most right now, people who have lost their jobs and people who are already on the edge financially are now suffering big time. And we need to look out for those neighbors, especially right now. So look out for your neighbors, contact them, say hello, let's stay in touch. I know that there's an order to stay socially isolated, but that doesn't mean you can't wave across the street. It doesn't mean you can't leave them a note. It doesn't mean you can't wave and say hi. Speaking of working together, I'm really excited to bring you some news. Um, the paper from 2015 that's kind of the center of the of, of, of any theory about whether or not this this current novel coronavirus might have originated in a laboratory comes from the Barrick Laboratory at the University of North Carolina. This paper does a whole series of manipulations of a novel bat coronavirus to try and prove that there is pot pandemic potential within these SARS-like coronaviruses that were found in these this bat populations in 2015. This paper is quite interesting again as I've said before because it is kind of the center paper in terms of uh, fueling the speculation that this might have this virus might have originated in a laboratory well I've read this paper quite a few times and I understand it pretty well backwards and forwards even though I'm not a virologist it's one of the places that I also started and in the bibliography specifically is a great place to follow through as you find one interesting paper chances are you're gonna find interesting work that previously came and is cited in the bibliography of any paper that you're interested in and so I followed the bibliography of this paper quite extensively, although apparently not good enough. Specifically, a viewer from New Zealand, a retired English teacher, sent me a list of, of observations that she made wherein she found that a 2015 author's manuscript version, which is still archived on the internet, has a total of five or six, I think it's six, um, different references in its bibliography that don't appear in the current version on Nature Medicine's website. Neither the online version nor the PDF uh, version contain five of these papers, which are each methodological papers which show some aspect of this, this laboratory origin theory that I've been putting forward for quite some time. So, thanks to this viewer, I'm going to be doing an extensive bike ride that will sort of show, um, that will sort of show, oh, that will sort of show what these papers contributed to the viral, our viral uh, biology in the last 10 years, what these method methodologies mean in terms of their usefulness in exploring coronavirus biology, and then how they also could potentially be used to enrich for coronaviruses like the one we're currently experiencing. So again, thanks to this viewer, and let's make this start to become a pattern where we work together, we try to work together to pay attention. Thanks for joining me in the woods. I'll see you guys on the bike in a few days, okay?